Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Cameron Landfield. Good morning, Western Oregon. It's fantastic out there already. The sun already risen, totally sunny in most areas. The coast still dealing with a little bit of a visibility issue with that marine layer pushing in and bringing uh, fog out to the area and bringing the visibility down. Now, there's something else I want to talk about, though, and I haven't updated you on this in a little bit here, and that's going to be the current temperatures out on the rivers. They have been pretty largely increasing over the last couple days here, and you can see we've actually already got 61 degrees out over a couple of our rivers here and close to 50 even out, or close to 60 even out in the Lamet. There's only one of our waterways remaining in those 40s, so it's actually getting a little bit warmer out there. So still, if it's very hot outside, you do have to worry about or at least be concerned with the fact that going from hot temperatures to cold temperatures sometimes is a little bit of a shock, but not nearly as cold as they were just a couple weeks ago. So maybe with this incoming heat wave, get out to the rivers. Just remember to be safe. Now, why are we in a heat wave? Well, we've got high pressure building up. You can see that behind me here. That's out on our big ridge and it continues to get larger and larger. You can see that amplitude very, very high by the time we get into Friday there. Now, I want to talk about something and that's going to be the term heat dome. I brought this up just uh, about 20 minutes ago. I'm gonna go ahead and show you why people refer to high pressure as a heat dome and really that's just because of the shape that it makes overhead. So what you're he seeing here is essentially what high pressure looks like from the side. When you get high pressure over an area it starts to heat the area up and then the geopotential height is what you'd call it starts to rise and with that rising you end up with this bowing shape that you see here and that's why it's a dome but really it's just high pressure we're dealing with this all the time and you can see what the effects of that are right here temperatures rise pretty pretty quickly as we go through the rest of the day and we'll actually see above average temperatures for the next several days and actually maybe even the next week check that on the seven day forecast 65 out on the coast and the average would be about 63 right now, but we're seeing 70 Friday, which is the warmest day of the week. Umpqua Basin 87 up to 90. You'll notice Saturday and Sunday is a little bit different everywhere. We get more cloud activity because of some southern moisture making its way in. Actually, even some light chances for thunderstorms over the Cascade Passes. Willamette Valley 82 for today, 87 after that, still staying in the 80s the next six days after. But now 